Okay. Adding decimals or numbers with decimals in there is just like adding up um, any number that has more than one digit, whether it be hundreds, tens, up to thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. The one difference is you always line up the decimals. Okay. You'll know your problem is set up correctly when the decimals make a straight line, vertical line going up and down. Okay. So in this case I have 14.83 or 14 and 83 hundredths plus 171.43 or 171 and 43 hundredths. And I'm just going to start from the right hand side, work my way across um, adding. Okay, so my first one is 3 plus 3, and that equals 6. Okay, and then I come over to the next one, into my tenths place, where I have 8 plus 4 is 12. So I'm going to put my 2 down here, and even though there's a decimal, that doesn't change the fact that I move my numbers over. I um, carry them just the same. Okay. I regroup them. I can't have um, 12 tenths, so well, that one becomes a hole up here. So then I have 1 plus 4 plus 1. Well, that equals 6. Okay. And then I have 1 plus 7. That equals 8. And last but not least, I do not have any numbers in the hundredths place on my top um, add in. So nothing or zero plus one is, is just one. Okay. Now what you need to do is drop the decimal down as well. I'm not done yet. See how the decimals are lined up in a nice neat row? Okay. Well I need to put a decimal in my answer the same way. Okay. So my answer when I when I take one hundred or sorry, one fourteen and eighty three hundredths or fourteen plus or sorry, fourteen point eight three plus one hundred seventy one and forty three hundredths or one hundred seventy one point four three, my answer is one hundred eighty six point two six or one hundred eighty six and twenty six hundredths. Okay. Um, I added the numbers just like I do normally, but I made sure when I set up my problem, my decimal places were in a straight line. I wrote over here in my rules, no many how many digits are in each number line up the decimal and not the numbers. I'm going to show you an example now of how the add-ins aren't going to have the same amount of digits. Okay, so this one right here, I have 14.8 or 14 and 8 hundredths plus 256.26 or 256 and um, 26 hundredths and 171.43 or 171 and 43 hundredths. Now, as you notice, I have more numbers after the decimal on these two than I do here. Okay. Now, what you used to do is you would always add them up, add up the number on the right hand side. But as you see, my decimals aren't lined up. Okay, and when the rule says no matter how many digits are in each number, line up the decimal and not the numbers. Okay, so I'm going to move this over. Okay, move it over just a little bit. Move this over just a touch. Okay, my decimals are in a straight line, and now I can add. So I start over here, even though there's not a number in the hundredths place, which is two places past the decimal, that's okay. It's basically like a zero, okay? So six plus three equals nine. Okay. And eight plus two plus four, well that is fourteen. Okay, and just like we mentioned before when we do our, our regrouping, I can't have fourteen tenths, I have to Make one of those into a whole number in my ones place, okay? 14. Okay, 1 plus 4 plus 6 plus 1 is 12. And just like before, I'll put my 2 down here. And I have to put my 1 up onto the top of the next one and add it up in there. Because 12 
ones is just one ten and two ones. And then I'm going to add over here seven plus five plus two is fourteen. And then my last place I'm going to add up is my hundreds. 1 plus 2 plus 1 is 4. Now just like I showed you on that last problem, I'm not done yet. Okay, My decimals are in a straight line going down. So I have to make sure I put my decimal in the right place. Okay, So I added them up. Even though there's more numbers... Uh, more digits on these two numbers. I don't scoot them all over to this right hand side. I line up the decimals. Okay, Line up the decimals so they should go straight down in a row. Okay, So that's how I have my answer being 442 and 49 hundredths or 442 plus or sorry and point four nine.